Do you know what? I think I paid too much money for this car. Yeah, but you know what? It is a proper nice thing. Like, look at it. That is a seriously cool car. Quite a special thing. Quite unique as well. I think there's about ten advertised on Auto Trader at the minute, so I did pay a lot of money for it, and I am expecting a bit of criticism for what I paid for it. But it's a nice example. It's been well looked after, and Zach, the guy that sold it to me, is also my subscriber. Yeah, he got it to a very good standard before he sold it to me. So today, I'm doing the first drive in this car because I've not actually driven it yet. Again, I expect criticism for that. What, well, a used car, not driving it, Cal, how dare you do that? But I am doing the first drive in it today. We're going to do the HPI walk around, all the usual stuff. And yeah, hopefully it's as good as I expect it is. Let's get on with it. Guys, quickly before we get on with this video, so the Yaris is getting given away in the next couple of weeks for nothing on my website, Planet of Dreams. But this Golf GTI here, this is getting given away this coming Friday at midday. So this is the car that I bought from one of my subscribers a few weeks ago. We've had these nice Rotary form alloy wheels fitted, courtesy of Wheelbase. We've had it lowered a little bit, courtesy of VRS and Racing Line. And don't worry guys, it will have a steering wheel fitted when you win it, all right? It's just gone off to Control Custom to get a nice, freshly retrimmed one done. Dream catchers, you can relax because you've been entered three times into this car already. But for those that want a free entry, you're all welcome to one each. Links in the description below. So this car is a car that I bought in a recent video from one of my subscribers, Zach, which I just mentioned. Um, and I bought it off Zach. I paid exactly what he wanted for it because it is a nice thing. And the plan for this car is to give it back to another one of my subscribers for free, all right? So if you've not entered for your chance to win this for nothing, head over to the website, planetofdreams.co.uk. The rules are, you must be a supporter of my social media platform. So if you're not a subscriber of my channel, you are not welcome to enter, do not enter. But if you are a subscriber, get involved. We'll give, I'm giving you all the chance to win cars and other stuff for absolutely nothing, all right? So this is gonna be the next car to be given away live on the Planet of Dreams website at midday. We're gonna be announcing the winner, all right? More details on the Planet of Dreams website. So yeah, I did pay a lot of money for this car. It books at 1,125 quid, and Zach wanted 2,250 pounds for it, right? And I thought, well, do you know what? I looked around it and I thought, it's actually proper nice. Like, it's done little things like the square plate there, you know, the little jack badges here and there. The Yaris uh, T-Sport, by the way, this is exactly what this is. This is a, the, the top of the range Yaris at the time. The current top of the range Yaris is a GR Yaris. Of course, they're a different different animal altogether. But the T-Sport is a 1.5 VV, VVTI 16-valve engine. It produces 100 brake horsepower, or a little bit more than that. It weighs about just shy of a tonne. So it's about 100 horsepower per tonne. Quite a quick thing. It sounds wicked, by the way. <laughs> I'll show you what it sounds like when we go for driving it in a sec. Uh, but yeah, I, I've never really looked at them. I mean, I've always considered that they're quite a cool thing. You look at them on the road, you think that's quite a cool little car. Japanese, reliable, uh, does everything as it should. Sounds the part, looks quite cool. Uh, but I've never had one in my life. So I gave Zach an extra 50 quid, 2,300 pounds. I'm gonna give you 2,250 pounds for the car. And I'm gonna give you 50 quid worth for you as well because he drops it off for me. That's, that's brilliant. That's <laughs> All right. Because he delivered it to me. He cleaned it. Like, look how mint this car is. We have cleaned it since. Like, he's, we have cleaned it since. He did do a little journey down it, but um, he, he cleaned it. He um, put full valet on the inside. Look at look how mint this car is. Look how mint this car is. It's done 117,000 miles, by the way, uh, which ain't super low mileage. You can pick them up for less money than that on Auto Trade. I think there's one at the minute, uh, private seller in Bradford. I think it's 1,500 quid. Um, looks like quite a nice thing and it's done less mileage than this. I think it's done 100,000 miles, to correct me if I'm wrong, uh, somewhere along them lines. But yeah, he's presented me with, he presented me with a bit of a problem. Like, as a business, if I'd have bought this car and paid 2,300 pounds for it, I would have lost money. It's just, uh, if I was buying this through the car buying shop and selling it at Binker, I would have lost money on this car. That is not what Planet of Dreams is about though. It's about giving subscribers 
subscribers what they want for cars and then giving other subscribers the chance to win decent stuff all right so for me this is easy man i bought this car it's ready to go doesn't need anything it is a nice example like even down to the michelin tires he's put the, the little alloy wheels on as well i love them i think they suit this car brilliantly i have stripped a few stickers off the back he had loads of stickers on there quite personal to him but i have left the odd one here and there that one did have to stay, although yeah, I might have to censor that out because I do like to keep things PG on my channel. I think the only thing I could pick this car apart on is it's got the odd parking dent here and there, like random ones here and there. So I might get the dent man next time he pops out just to go over it and uh, yeah, get rid of some of these dents. But little stickers like the Paul Walker sticker at the bottom there. It's got the LED rear lights, big fat exhaust, big fat rear spoiler tinted windows we've put hashtag on it stickers on here we've also put a little dreams badge uh dream sticker at the rear there as well just loads of things rear wiper delete i'm not a fan of a rear wiper delete but if you've got all them stickers on the rear window it would be uh, a rear wiper or sticker removal tool if you were to keep it so it had to go that gear stick just loads and loads of little touches that he's done are just so nice so in the back if we hop in the back and just show you is that how you open the boot it is there is no back seats to a lot of people that is an absolute negative but um in replacement we've got a strut brace you know what i reckon you could actually get the back seats in there whilst having a strut brace i don't know maybe maybe not but his back seat deleted it along with the rear wiper delete as well stuff like that is random but do you know what else zach done he gave me a box full of original parts. So we've got all of the original parts, including the original wheels and the original Yaris T-Sport wheels are actually quite nice. So yeah, all of the, all the original parts are in a box. And I said to Zach on a day, do you know what, Zach? I absolutely rate it that you've come down with this car. It's got petrol in it. It's clean, like he spent two days cleaning it. All of the original parts were in a box in the boot of the car. The spare wheel, like everything, the tires are brilliant like it's got michelin tires in it he just mot'd it before he came down in it all the history is up to date the car is lovely love that square plate we've even got the original number plates the, the normal number plates like everything was there and when i said zach right how much are you hoping to get for it he's like well you know i want as close to 2250 as possible and i said i'm going to give you 2300 pounds for it i think he was shocked and i just thought mate I, I can't knock you on this car it's even got a sunroof it's even got a sunroof so uh yeah but i am yet to drive it let's do the drive bit now but before we do the drive let's quickly flick through hpi it is hpi clear by the way i did check that before i bought it and then yeah we'll do the normal stuff draggy times included all right let's get inside ah sis give myself some more leg room plenty of leg room in here guys for a little car that's funny sometimes i buy these cars where i go to do videos on certain cars and I think what am i going to talk about but with this car it's got so much going for it i do like love the look of it like the little black trim on the front bumper which resembles the little black center trim as well on the rear bumper i love that and like even the, the quality of this particular car look we've got three keys look at all them keys brilliant we've even got a little toyota key ring yeah just to add a bit of quality Another Toyota keyring looks like could be the original one. I wonder if it is. And then we've even got there's something else in there. That little Yaris keyring as well. Just makes you feel like the car has been loved. Now let's start the engine, have a little listen. Proper old school naturally aspirated engine, four cylinder. You'd think the T-Sport would have a turbo, because it's got that T in the name, but it don't have a turbo, it's just naturally aspirated, which I suppose would be quite, it would be cool if we turbocharge it, but that ain't gonna happen. Quickly fly through H5, there ain't loads to talk about on here. Here we go, all registers are clear, not stolen, not got no finance, security watch, not a write-off, none of that. It's a good, honest example. Uh, five four key push, three door hatch. I think they were available as a three and a five door. I'm not certain about that. Pretty sure, I don't know if the T-Sports were. Optional equipment wise, I don't even think there was loads of options I wear, but, but if we look at the options, it was apparently 11,350 quid new, it had 275 pounds worth of optional extras, guys. Guys, um, and the 275 quid was the metallic paint. They all seem to be this color. I think it's a nice color, really suits the car, but apparently that was an optional extra. Now, other options available were an Isofix for the rear seat. I mean, we actually ain't got no rear seats, so it might have that, but it, it doesn't currently have that. And a Space Saver spare wheel, which, yeah, it, it, it ain't got that over at the minute. So uh, forget about that. Let's just hit the bloody road, yeah? It is so 
loud. I feel like a proper little boy racer in this car. Oh my god, that is noisy. I think we've also got the, like, the exhaust bung. Uh, if it is too noisy, if anyone's worried about winning this car and annoying neighbours, uh, don't worry, we've got an exhaust bunk for you as well, right? To, to calm the sound down a little bit. But I remember when Zach took me out in his car and he came bombing down that road. I was like, Zach, calm down, mate. That's enough, Zach. <laughs> yeah, we, we're uh, doing it legal on this channel, yeah? Calm down, yeah, we just, we, you sold the car to me, you don't have to show off. Chill, it's a fast car, I know that, but it ain't mega fast. Is it all, all mad for no action? I don't know. Draggy times, that's what we need to talk about. The slowest cars on the draggy lead board, because that's the reality. It just popped in. Oh, that sounds wicked. That's the reality of where this car's going to sit, somewhere near the bottom. Um, I think the Audi A4 2.5 TDI, you know, my ex boss's car that I've done a video on recently, uh, that I've done it in 10.39 seconds. And then above that, I think we've got the BMW 420i Grand Coupe. That was surprisingly slow. I think that's 188 brake horsepower. That done it in 9.01 seconds. Now, I think these do 0 to 60 in about nine seconds. So I would guess we're gonna be somewhere in the middle of them two cars. I don't know exactly. I'm hoping like, it'd be amazing if we beat the four series. That'd be wicked, wouldn't it? What a claim to fame that would be. The Yaris T-Sport beat a BMW 4 Series. But we will find out shortly. But I do, again, want to compliment this car because it is, it's I swore then, I swore then. It is mint inside. If anyone's got any cars they want to sell, especially at this condition level, um, do reach out to me. Either hit the link to thecarbuyingshop.com in the description below, or email Picks and Price to contact at thecarbuyingshop.com. Even if you've got a car that you think would be good for Planet of Dreams, I'm constantly looking for cars, constantly trying to buy stuff, constantly trying to do content for YouTube. So keep it in mind. Contact at thecarbuyingshop.com and yeah, send over some details. All right, so let's have another little listen. BT open reach round there. Don't pull out in front of me, mate. Stay. He's looking at me like, <laughs> what's this idiot doing? Do you know what? This is quite quick, man. BBTI stands for variable valve timing. Feels super reliable. The clutch is strong. It's revving right out to 7,000 RPM. Wicked little car. Proper Japanese, typical confidence inspiring reliability stuff going on here, guys. Uh, what we are going to do. Is we're now going to do dragon times, all right? Let's head out on the dual carriageway. Ready? Three, two, one. Come on, Yaris. Go, go, go. Loads of noise. Loads of revs. Come on. Keep going, Cal. Keep going. Oh, we hit the limiter as we hit 70 mile an hour. Very impressive. What's been. Oh. near the 4 Series. Let me do a couple more runs and I'll let you know how I do it in a sec, right? <laughs> Such an addictive car to drive and I love it that when it hits the rev limiter it just sounds so bloody good on the limiter. What was annoying about that? I say annoying but it, it kind of just about hit 70 mile an hour when we were doing draggy times there in third gear. Done about, I think maybe 71, but it kind of felt like it was losing power right near the top there. So that might have gone against it. Uh, but on the plus side, we already know that we beat the Audi A4, two and a half litre V6 diesel. Uh, we've done 9.83 seconds, yeah? That's pretty good. The big question is, did we beat the BMW 420i? Simple answer to that question is, guys is no we didn't we've done a slightly quicker time i managed to shave a little bit off i've done it in 9.77 seconds which i think is quite impressive it does feel surprisingly quick i think the noise gives you a bit of an illusion that it's uh going faster than it actually is but it does sound really good it looks really good it's a great value for money the money it's a uh, great value for money car did i pay too much money for it probably 
Zach's done some nice touches to it. He spent a small fortune on it, but generally when you do up cars, you don't get all that money back. But for me and what I want this car for, I'm really pleased with it. It's gonna make a great price for someone. Uh, so I'm happy about that. And a couple of things I haven't mentioned yet is the dials, I really like that about the dials because the normal Yaris has got like, it's almost like looking down a bloody kaleidoscope. It's like the passenger side, you can't see it, but when you're in the driver's seat, you can. I like it, they've just put normal analog dials in it and they're white as well, which is unique to the T-Sport. Uh, yeah, I I'm quite impressed with this car. Thank you, sir, on your dog walk here. I think he's quite impressed that I said hello to him. He's looking at me like I'm some little chav in my pimped up Yaris. But I'm actually quite a nice guy, mate. Uh, yeah, got to wrap it up, leave it as that. It done well on draggy times. Uh, I feel like I've missed something. Have I missed anything? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on it. Did I pay too much money for it? Uh, is it going to make a great price for someone? And do you actually like it? Yeah, it's done 117,778 miles. Uh, it's got a bit of fuel in it and I'm gonna go guys, yeah, stop banging on. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you're new, and if you're not, if you've not yet entered for your chance to win this car for absolutely nothing, I'm giving it away next Friday. Uh, links in the description below, planetdreams.co.uk, and if you're on Instagram, give me a follow on Instagram, at Cameron's Car Diary, and I'll see you in my next video, all right? Bye.